The robust and efficient electric tow tractor EZS350 is ideally suited for transporting and distributing loads in tow trains with tow loads up to 5,000 kg. Sophisticated ergonomics and technology enable safe and economic assignments with impressive cost effectiveness and energy efficiency. Please note, the contents of this video has been prepared for use outside the US market. Only trained persons with safety shoes are allowed to operate the truck. Do not carry other people on the truck or the trailers. Please note, the designated maximum towing capacity is only applicable on level ground with a non-slip surface. Before mounting the truck, adjust the optionally available cushion stand-on platform to your needs. Then mount the tow truck and adjust the control handle to your size. Make sure the red emergency stop switch is pulled up. Start the truck via the access system. As soon as the truck is ready for use, the display shows the battery charge status. Place both hands on the multifunctional steering wheel Jet Pilot. Use the green rocker switch, which can be operated on both sides, to determine both the direction of travel and the speed of the truck. To steer the truck, move the Jet Pilot to the left or right. Release the rocker switch to stop, or use the brake button on the Jet Pilot. In an emergency, the truck can also be stopped via the emergency stop switch. The tractor is fitted with an automatic parking brake, which is automatically released when you step on the accelerator. The brake also automatically activates when you stop the truck for enhanced safety, even on slopes or ramps. To connect trailers to tow tractors, move the vehicle backwards in front of the trailer's tow bar. Use the optional side touch mode to move and position the tow tractor more precisely. The EZS350 is available with a variety of couplings. The simple plug-in coupling offers a single coupling height that can be adjusted for your trailer. Remove the safety pin and bolt and connect the trailer to the coupling. Afterwards, reinsert the bolt and secure it with a safety pin. The multiple plug-in coupling with three coupling heights is used for towing different trailers with the same tow tractor. Choose the proper coupling height to horizontally connect the trailer's tow bar. The bolt is secured with a 90-degree rotation against unintentional release. To connect trailers to tow tractors with directionally stable couplings, pull the trailer to the coupling. Push the trailer's tow bar down and pull it to connect to the coupling. For tow tractors with automatic couplings, open the coupling bolt using the hand lever. Make sure your hand is not anywhere near the coupling jaw. The coupling automatically closes once the bar is inserted into the coupling drawer. More available couplings include hook couplings, couplings for country-specific drawbar eyes, or custom couplings. Connect any existing cables with the plugs to use electric functions of the trailers. Use the lift lower buttons on the jet pilot to raise or lower the trailers. Make sure the coupling is properly locked before you start moving the tractor with the trailers. Check if the trailers are secured with wedges and if so, remove them. To uncouple trailers, unplug all cables and then release the coupling. To park the truck, turn it off. To charge the battery, the truck must be completely switched off. Trucks equipped with a maintenance-free lithium-ion battery are connected to the charger via the quick charge socket. To charge an EZS350 with lead-acid battery, open the battery compartment. Disconnect the battery connector from the truck and connect it to the charger plug. The charger automatically switches off at the end of the charging process. 
If charging has to be interrupted, be sure to always switch off the charger first before disconnecting the truck from the charger. To maintain the battery, check the battery water level using the checkpoints. After charging, regularly refill the distilled water in the battery. To do this, connect the aquamatic hose to the water tank. The indicator in the hose indicates that the process has ended. Then disconnect the hose from the container and close the battery compartment. The truck is now ready for use again. In addition to the battery, regularly check the wheels and couplings for damage and contamination. For a long service life of battery and truck, we recommend regular maintenance by a Jungheinrich service engineer. Any questions about the truck or how it operates? We are nearby. Please observe the safety instructions. Further important information on the operation and maintenance of the truck can be found in the operator's manual supplied.